Welcome, welcome to our Bay Bridge uh, Community Roundtable. So um, we very intentionally picked uh, that title because we're really excited to have the community here um, to help us um, build out and build bridges, um, as we like to say, being Bay Bridge um, in the community. And um, so we're going to jump right in and let you know what we're going to be doing tonight. Uh, Jen, if you want to um, advance the slides. So here's what we're going to do um, in our roundtable. Um, and first of all, um, just to kind of, uh, it's always good to start with what's our purpose here tonight. We hope that you leave inspired um, to act. Um, what we have put together is some facts and information. Um, we've got a proposed plan that we want your input on. Um, so we hope that um, you leave here with, wow, this is great. This is the right direction because I've put input into it and um, you wanna help us do that. And the other thing we wanna do really is uh, build community. Um, that's what this is all about. That's our end goal. Um, so first what we're gonna do is we're going to review mission and vision. Anne will take us through that. And really, why do we do this work? Um, so she's gonna share some of that information with you. Uh, Jen is gonna go over our proposed um, scorecard and timeline. Uh, and then we'll have a little bit of information on how you can get involved um, if you've been inspired. And then we're gonna break out into roundtables on key issues. So you all signed up for um, a roundtable, first and second, happy to tell you, we decided to just put you in your first choice. So um, that's kind of when we'll really dig in and get in, uh, roll up our sleeves and get into the work. All right, Anne, why don't you take it away? Thank you, Carrie, and um, big shout out to Carrie and Jean and Beth and everyone behind the scenes on planning this meeting tonight. And thank you everybody for being here. It's great to see some familiar faces as well as new faces. Um, really pleased that you carved out some time on this uh, beautiful evening to be with us here on Zoom. So Bay Bridge is um, almost two years old this summer and we came up with a vision and mission statement along the way. I'm gonna read both of these um, to you. So our vision, what we're ultimately working towards is that Whitefish Bay will be a welcoming community that recognizes, acknowledges, and works to dismantle structural racism. And our mission is that Bay Bridge is a nonpartisan Whitefish Bay group work, who works to facilitate conversation and raise awareness of racial and cultural bias diversity, equity, justice and unity to build bridges within and between individuals and communities. Next slide, please. So how does Whitefish Bay compare to neighboring communities? Um, and we know that more diversity is possible just by looking at the statistics offered um, by population in some of the surrounding suburbs. So, you can see there on the far left population by race in Whitefish Bay um, and purple is the white alone. So we're um, pretty strong up there in our numbers at 12,000. Um, and then other races at the bottom are um, pretty flat, pretty low numbers there. And then in comparison, you can see um, Glendale has a little more diversity a lot more diversity in brown deer, um, and then not as much again in shorewood, but we know that more is possible. Next slide, please. Um, we, uh, as the founders, were all white women, but we feel that we have to listen to what the people of color um, are telling us in Whitefish Bay and what some of their experiences are, and that's really what brings us here tonight. Um, with some urgency because we feel like um, there's no time to waste. So here are some things that we pulled from uh, social media and um, some of our listening sessions that indicate that maybe Whitefish Bay is not as welcoming as it could be. So um, a student has shared that um, we pride ourselves on being one of the best schools in the state, but how can we when kids of color leave the district feeling less than their white peers? 
how do you define the best? Test scores and how the students perform academically should not define the quality of this school. If I leave school at the end of a day or week or year feeling like my humanity isn't recognized and respected, that I'm not equal, if you do actual damage to me and other persons of color by allowing racism in our school community, how can you call yourself the best? We have to work much harder at being a well-rounded school community mm -hmm. that is just and equal for all. So we will have one of the breakout sessions specifically on school and starting to address some of those issues. Um, and then the middle segment is um, someone expressed that they'd like Whitefish Bay to stop feeling like um, they're entering a danger zone of racial profiling by police, residents, and business owners when driving through. Um, and the last one was a social media post of someone who moved here um, in October of 2020 um, asking for advice. It'd be greatly appreciated. So um, background, my son and I are new to Wisconsin altogether from Texas, but I believe we're missing something because we go to the library and get looks. We walk into stores and get looks. Heck, we get followed around the store just for that person to see that I paid for every item. Like, what's the deal? I even had my neighbor call the landlord on me to question if I lived here in this building. This is crazy and no hospitality at all, nowhere. What should I do in this situation? Um, so we're not being as welcoming as we can be. And I want to talk about something in this first statement about humanity. Um, that's really our emphasis. We are not a partisan group. We are nonpartisan. And this is really about recognizing the humanity of our neighbors. Next slide, please. This is sort of our problem statement. Is there evidence of non-equitable practices? Um, unfortunately, yes. Um, so several of these um, pertain to our school district. And if you signed up for that roundtable, you'll have a chance to maybe look at these a little bit um, in more depth. This particular one um, refers to policing issues. And this is actually um, taken from Shorewood, but we've had some opportunity to observe that the Whitefish Bay um, statistics are probably quite similar to what has come out in Shore during their public study of last summer. Um, and then this article from 2015, if you lived here at the time, um, that was kind of a news um, headline where someone was not initially served in one of our, our stores on Silver Spring. Next slide, please. And what does our community want? And we know this because um, we've asked, because you are here tonight, um, because we know that people in our community are ready for a change and ready to take action. So we had some listening sessions at the beginning that were facil facilitated by Kelly Sai, and people are hoping that we can change our reputation, acknowledge bias and racism, acknowledge our history of exclusion, address authority, address education disparities, improve our housing options, develop a culture of respect and inclusion, and development of a community equity plan. Um, and then we did um, some surveys that were facilitated by uh, Karen, our own Carrie Newman. And we came back with people who are interested in school equity, village and policing, community education and dialogue, greater Milwaukee area partnerships, voting and laws. So these are kind of the things that we're prioritizing and that's evident tonight um, as the topics we've chosen. And we also um, received words of encouragement to keep up the good work. So again, we feel like um, there is a need for this in the community and that's what Bay Bridge is here to serve. Next slide, please. Um, unfortunately, we're not necessarily headed in the right direction um, as we seem to be getting less diverse all the time. So we're concerned about what the numbers are showing us and we need to take action um, and be conscious of this. Next slide, please. And we need to act now. Um, and it has to be measurable goals that we're setting. Um, and that's what we're here to discuss as well. And um, building out the teams to, to work on the priorities that we've identified that the community has helped us to identify. Next slide, please. So I think this is the part where I'm supposed to jump in for you, Anne, to give you a little bit of a breather. Thank um, you, Ben. Yeah, and I think if we go back to that previous slide real quick, what we want to do tonight is really identify those strategies that we can use to 
move our community forward in terms of school equity, village and policing, and help educate our community as a whole to make this a more, more of a priority uh, for all of our neighbors. I'm not gonna go over these in a lot of detail. These will be reviewed in the breakout sessions, but what we're trying to propose tonight are um, some scorecards that we can use to evaluate and track the progress in both our school district as well as our village in terms of progress towards measurable goals um, that will allow us to achieve, to achieve more equity and inclusiveness for all of our neighbors um, and particularly our neighbors of color. <clears throat> what we are hoping to um, achieve tonight is really to start that conversation with you all to present the goals that we have started to flesh out and identify to refine those goals with your input tonight. That's our goal for each of those individual roundtables to really to have that conversation and that discussion with interested community members to identify where we need to um, hone in on goals and how do we um, best hold the um, entities uh, accountable for achieving those goals. We will continue to work on developing and um, uh, identifying those benchmarks over the summer. And by September, by the time school starts, um, as, as one of our calendar um, deadlines, we will present those scorecards, those benchmarks to both the school district and to the village and um, begin to work together as a community to track progress on those. And then we mm -hmm. hope that by December, we will have sufficient data collection and some measurement of those goals over time that we can present um, our first year end review of progress towards um, the scorecard goals. I'm gonna turn it over to Jean. Good evening. Hi, everybody. I'm Jean Dole, and I'm overseeing our volunteer services. So I came on board in February uh, to join Bay Bridge, and we're hoping that tonight, through through what you hear, that you may want to get more involved uh, with our organization in many different ways. So you can help us by giving feedback and help us finalize our goals. You can also um, join one of our four committees. Uh, school equity, village policing and housing, community dialogue and education, or food justice. So uh, those groups meet on a regular basis and are, are planning all different kinds of activities. Uh, we also have uh, volunteers that help us operationally um, do different things. And that's what you see here, are some of those items on the help needed list, um, a school board reporter or more than one of those um, to help us look for equity issues within uh, school board committee meetings and reporting back to our group on what, what's been discussed. A creative director, we need help with social media and PR assistance. And we also publish a monthly newsletter and are looking for help with that. So there's lots of opportunities to help and we'd love to match your skills up with what we're looking for. Um, we also ask that you just help spread the word about what you learn tonight, um, what you hear, and um, tell more people that you meet with um, about Bay Bridge and we can bring more people and continue to build community and, um, and really have these conversations that we wanna have with regards to uh, racial equity. And last but not least, we always, um, you know, funding always helps. So if you're so inclined to help support us um, through uh, monetary support would be great. We have a student leader program that um, we, we're constantly fundraising for that as well as for um, our own community education and event costs. So um, these are just a sampling of different ways to get involved with Bay Bridge. Next slide. So it's a great time to join Bay Bridge. There's a lot of momentum. As Ann said, um, Jen, Kathy, and Ann started Bay Bridge in July of 2019. And in that really short amount of time, we've really started to make an impact. We have over 1,100 followers through our uh, social platforms, as well as newsletter. Um, you may have heard about the MLK Day proclamation. Uh, we were successful in, in having that adopted, um, not only here in Whitefish Bay, but also in other North Shore communities and working collectively with other organizations in our neighboring communities. 
We also have the great teamwork of Eileen Burke and Christy Balzer with um, our Sandwich Brigade and a partnership with Just One More Ministry that kicked off on Martin Luther King Day as well um, and in recognition of that day. And we've served 8,300 sandwiches um, so far, <laughs> over 2,400 pounds of food. Um, so this is phenomenal. And we, we do this once a month um, and we are filled, um, have people constantly signing up from now until August. So we're so grateful for the leadership of and everybody that's come forward to help us there. Uh, we also have different monthly events. So some of you have participated in those through our film series, through our community book read. We kicked that off last summer with um, the Kendi book and uh, stay tuned because we'll be doing another one this summer. So um, again, lots of opportunity there. And then we had a really successful candidate forum um, and we did that in partnership with the League of Women Voters. So um, partnership is another key element of Bay Bridge and what we're trying to do. We've done community input and uh, sessions and prior um, surveys as you heard about, and we continue to spotlight local organizations um, that um, need our support. So as you can see, you know, we've got a lot going and at the same time, Bay Bridge went through a strategic planning process and we're building infrastructure to really support this and make this sustainable. So we're hopefully that you'll join along with that. Um, John, if you wanna go to the next slide. So here's a uh, org chart. Um, it's not for you to have to like know the whole organization, but what we're really trying to show you is that we have the infrastructure here to support the group. So we have the Bay Bridge core leaders with our, we call them co-facilitators, our original founding members, as well as some of the key roles. So that's where we have an opportunity there. We have our program committees, and then we have the critical operational roles. And then we have all, all the different community volunteers that are really helping us spread the word, make sandwiches and do other things. So uh, we're a strong organization and look forward to continuing to grow. Carrie, I think you're next. How many times a day does some, do we all do that? Like, <laughs> so you all are getting uh, excited, I bet, to dig in and let's, uh, get, let's get to work on uh, actually building out a final scorecard, um, roll up our sleeves um, in smaller groups. So um, as we mentioned tonight, we are gonna do round tables in three different areas. Um, school equity is going to go deeper on the scorecard there and then start to talk about how can we support like getting the data, you know, what are the action items um, that need to happen. Village and policing, same kind of thing, just on the village um, scorecard and what's going on. Um, and then for community dialogue and education, you heard Jean talk about like some of the events that we've put on. That's what the, that group does, but in the short term, our focus will be on really trying to engage the community on these scorecards that we're starting to put together because we want as much input as possible to really make sure that like this is truly what the community is, is asking for and wants to hold um, our community accountable to. Okay. 